Under the bodily concept of life, I am influenced by one of the modes of material nature and acting. The Bhagavata also it is stated, Taya Sanvahita Jiva Atmanam Trivunatmakam Manute Anartham. So, because I have accepted this body, which is made of the either of the three modes of material nature and identified. Therefore I have created so many anartham. Anartham means unwanted things. Tayacha Abhipadate and after creating in bodily relationship so many unwanted things, I am absorbed in thought. That I am uh, I belong to such and such nation. Therefore I have got my duty to do this, do that for the nation or to the society or to the family or to my personal self or to my wife, my children. This is according to Vedic conception I This is uh, illusion. Aham mameti janasam mohoyam. Moho means illusion. Uh, I am creating illusory circumstances and becoming entire. This is my position. But my real objective is how to get out this illusion and come to my original consciousness, Krishna consciousness, and then I get back. Krishna consciousness means spiritual body. As soon as I act on the basis of my spiritual body, that is called liberation. That is wanted. Then I live blissfully in eternal life of knowledge. That is my problem. But people have been educated on this bodily concept of life and they are creating problems. And in order to solve the problems, they are becoming entangled in sinful activities. And just like this morning we were discussing about uh, killing the baby's body within the womb, abortion. Uh, because we do not know that the soul within the body of the baby, that cannot be killed. Uh, that cannot be killed. Uh, but that is also explained. The one who knows the eternity of the uh, soul, he does not kill anyone, neither the soul is killed. But we are creating problems because the soul has taken shelter in this body and the so-called medical science advising to destroy that body, that means he is becoming entangled. The person who is advising understand that uh, one gentleman comes here, his wife is a medical doctor, and her business is to check the pregnant woman and advise whether the child should be killed or not. This is the business. Uh, so the situation of the world, due to ignorance of the soul, they are creating so many sinful activities and becoming internal, but they have no knowledge how they are becoming entangled. This is Maya's prakhyavadmika uh, sakti, avarnatmika, although he is being entangled. But he is thinking that he is advancing, advancing in scientific knowledge. This is their knowledge. The gentleman was talking that he is a mining engineer. Uh, the mining engineer, his business is to uh, make the atmosphere within the mind very comfortable. Just imagine, he has gone down the, uh, within the earth, just like the uh, mouse hole, uh, and he is improving the mouse hole. After being educated, after getting degrees, his position is to enter into the dark, dark, I mean say, hole of the earth, and he is trying to 
uh, scientific advancement by cleansing, cleansing the uh, air within the mind. He is condemned that he has been forced to give up the outer, outer space, free air. He has been condemned to go into the, uh, within the earth and he is proud of scientific advancement. This is the, this is scientific advancement. So, manute anartham, that is Vaisdev, Vaisdev before writing Srimad Bhagavatam, by the, uh, under the instruction of Narada, he meditated. Uh, what is the position? Bhakti yoga manasi sammak pranihite amale apasat purusam purna mayantata dapasitam. He saw, realized there are two things uh, the maya and Krishna. Mayanta the apasita, taking shelter of Krishna. This Maya cannot stand without Krishna. But Krishna is not affected by Maya because Krishna is not affected at all. But the living entities, Jaya Sarmahita Jiva, the living entities, they become affected by the presence of Maya. Uh, Krishna is not affected. Uh, just like uh, the sun and the sunshine. Sunshine means combination of uh, illu- illuminating particles. That is sunshine. It is scientific. Uh, uh, sparks, little atomic sparks, shining sparks. So similarly, we are also just like uh, the shining sparks of Krishna. Krishna is compared with the sun. Krishna surja sama maya andhaka. Uh, now when there is cloud, maya, the sun is not affected. Uh, but the small particles, sun sign, uh, they are affected. Just like and uh, this, Here is sun and below uh, many millions of miles below the cloud, and the cloud is covering part of the sun sign, which is combination of illuminating particles. Uh, so the maya or the cloud cannot cover the sun, but it can cover <coughs> the minute shining particles. So we are affected. Krishna is not affected. Therefore, Vaisdev saw apasat purusam purnam. He saw, just like in aeroplane, he go above the cloud. The sun is not affected at all by the cloud. Although below the aeroplane you will see vast mass of cloud. Similarly, Maya cannot affect Krishna. Therefore, Bhagavad Gita says, the Yudhisa Gunamai Momo Maya. Mama Maya, Krishna says, my illusory energy. Krishna is never uh, affected by the illusory energy, exactly like the cloud. But the Mahavadi philosopher, they say that when uh, impersonal, absolute truth comes, uh, appears, they also accept the incarnation. But their philosophy is, the ultimately, the absolute truth is impersonal. When he appears as a person, he accepts the Maya body. This is Maya. Uh, Krishna may be accepted as the Supreme God, but uh, he has accepted a material body. That means they want to compare Krishna with ordinary uh, living entity. And that is condemned in the Bhagavad Gita. It is said that Avijananti Mahamura Mahasintanu Asita. Because Krishna comes in his original form, <coughs> original form is two handed. It is also accepted in the Bible. Man is made after the image of God. <coughs> God has got two hands. 
In the 400 Vishnu form is not the original form. Uh, Vishnu form is second uh, manifestation of Sankarsa. So Krishna is never affected. 